Get going up. It's coming no matter what. Yeah. And the sad part about it is you can't stop. All right. Amen.
God, but we should be serving. All right. mm -hmm. We change, amen, from uh, what God is saying, uh, God has said about the church, and we want it to work like we want it to work. It won't mm -hmm. work that way. So we should change from the way I feel or what I feel and allow God to move, amen, yes. in yes, Lord. imperfect, uh, in his perfect, I'm sorry, uh, way of doing things. Because God does things well. Yes, I am. Amen. Paul said, I am content with whatever state that I'm in. Now, I found out that being content is different from being satisfied. A lot of different.
whole. Amen. I can, amen, make sure that you are here on Sunday morning, Sunday school, by going by and getting you and bringing you. But it's going to take God to fix your heart and your mind to make sure that because you're here, you won't be here. So, it stands to reason that if we would uh, let Christ be the center of our joy, uh -huh. if we would let our lives be God-orientated, there would be a positive change within our lives. Yeah. And that's what we're talking about tonight, positive change. Amen. The Bible says that we are born in sin and shaped in iniquity, which only produces what? Negative. If you're born in sin, you're not going to. How can you productively be positive? You cannot be productively positive if you're born in sin unless you change from that amen so if we allow Christ to become as I said the center of our joy center of our life then amen those negative things will uh, soon pass away do you agree? Yes, alright uh, how many folk in here got it? <laughs> mm. Do you have Christ in your life? Yeah. 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 This is the case why we all, amen, caught up in negative situations uh, so often. Yeah. Amen. If we allow Christ to be our center, then our negativity will turn into our positive thinking, positive yeah. doing, positive being. Yeah. And I never in this century amen, mm -hmm. seen the like of saints being negative mm -hmm. about so many things. Uh, yeah. I was told Paper. I 
I said, so it doesn't flip back. Well, they, they got around it. I said, well, I'm going to get around it. <laughs> because I know God is. Just who he say he is. He's a way maker. He's a breather of trouble. Yes. 
by Christ, which allowed the change which he faced to be possible. Yeah. Secondly, I have one more after this. Secondly, to effectively make a positive change. One must forget the pain. Surrender all. Verse 5 says that, amen, he called out to Christ. Yes, God! Who art thou? What do you want me to do? Where do you want me to go? How do you want me to say it? Walk right. Talk right. Change your life. 
It will be changed into right and righteousness. A positive change for God. And how many of you know that Saul went on to live a positive life for Christ? If you change into a positiveness of God, let me, let me put a pin right there. When you change into that positiveness for God, it doesn't mean that life is going to be a bed of roses. It doesn't mean that you're going to have banana pudding every day. It does not mean that life is not going to be what it was. The Bible says God told us that look, in the midst of all of these things, in the midst of every obstacle, in the midst of every situation, in the midst of everything, that you have to go alone. <laughs> I told that story, amen, about the man. Yes, sir.
one man that died. Each man that died. We're going to bring them in. Yes. How many will be there this Sunday? Because he is, he said he is. 